Today we're going to talk about silica. What is it? Why is it important? Silica can go by a couple different names. So silica, the chemical name silicon dioxide, or there's other types of it. You can also get silica through like a salicylic acid process. So silica basically helps your plants uptake nutrients more efficiently and then trace minerals. But it also aids in the photosynthesis process. It helps to make photosynthesis a little bit more efficient. It helps to strengthen cell walls. It helps to boost the immune system of the plant, the improvement and mobilization of essential macronutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So if you're not currently using a silica or silicon dioxide product in your garden, don't worry because Green Row puts silicon dioxide in almost all of our products. So silicon dioxide comes in two forms, an amorphous and a crystalline. Amorphous can be ground up into a powder that can be better suited in the soil. Most silica and silicon dioxides are the crystalline variety, kind of similar to how glass is made. Glass is made out of silica, so silica is very abundant in the planet, but its ability to be easily absorbed is not. If you can find an amorphous silica, and that's what we're using. So we use an amorphous variety so that it goes well in the teas and also goes well in the soil and your plant can utilize it more efficiently. Crystalline and amorphous. One other thing that we didn't talk about about silica and silicon dioxide, it is crucial if you're growing with salts because silica helps to manage plants in a high salinity environment, right? So high salinity is high salt. If you're growing with something like Athena, it's pure salt. So a lot of people recommend having like a salicylic acid or a silica to help because the plants thrive better when silica is introduced into a high salt or a high salinity environment. If you're out there and you're growing with, you know, a salt-based fertilizer, then I think that that's important for you to know.